Hey guys, Vizerlo Productions here, and this video is going to be me giving my thoughts on this Sony conference for E3 2017. Now, overall, I'd say that this was... It was an okay conference. I don't own any PlayStation, so I can't really get any of the stuff that they advertise. But still, I'm interested in a lot of it. So I'm going to be skipping a lot of things I just didn't find interesting, by the way, so keep that in mind. First thing is that the fanboyism in the chat was too high. Like, I saw people who were literally, literally going crazy because even, like, other companies were at the E3 saying that, like, it, it was just Sony's E3, they just stole it. And people can have their opinions, but, like, there was, there was, like, all argument wars going on. So, the fanboyism on that was just way too high. There was a lot of audio issues in the stream, it, uh, and I did not experience this in any other stream. I was watching it, and then audio issue after audio issue after audio issue, and the thing buffered so many times, so I don't know if that was Sony or Twitch or whatever, but it really ruined the experience at the start. So the first game that they revealed was Uncharted The Lost Legacy, and it, it kind of just looks like a poor man's Tomb Raider. It doesn't look horrible or anything, but it just, I'm not, I've never played a uh, Uncharted game. It just doesn't look that great in my opinion. Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Wilds. That game looks pretty... Uh, it, I mean, it just looks pretty. It looks like a really nice game. There's not really much else to say. It's just a standard it's a Horizon Zero game. Days Gone. That game actually looks really good. I like the gameplay they showed. It kind of looks like a uh, Last of Us sort of style game. And yeah, it looks like a really fun game. Oh, and you can't forget that Days Gone had a lot of good graphics. Like, that thing looked great visually. Monster Hunter Worlds. Finally, a Monster Hunter in the US on a platform that I can play. Too bad I don't own a PlayStation, but still, it's nice to see a Monster Hunter game. And I, I liked it. I, I'm not going to play it, of course, because I can't play it on a console I don't have. But still, it looks interesting. Shadow of the Colossus 2018. I watched a playthrough on an old favorite channel of mine of Shadow of the Colossus. I really like that game. And the fact that they're making, I'm pretty sure this is a remastered version, is nice. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. That's, uh, okay. I'm not into that game. Kind of just feels, yeah, it kind of feels lackluster in my opinion. Call of Duty World War II. It looks great. It looks like finally a Call of Duty game that I might actually want to play. I even wanted to play a real Call of Duty game in like, what, two years? So, <laughs> that's, it's good that they're finally stepping up their game. Now, the PlayStation VR was definitely the highlight. There was only two PlayStation VR games that I really liked, but I'll be going over those two. The first is Skyrim. If you did not know, I am an absolute massive fan of Skyrim, and Skyrim is getting its own PlayStation VR port. Oh, uh, wow, the fact that you can play Skyrim in VR is amazing. I might- I was actually contemplating buying a PS4 just for this. Now I get you- I do understand you have to get a PlayStation VR, but there's bundles going around where you can get a PlayStation VR and a PlayStation 4 standard. So I can- I just really want to play this game, and this game in particular. And the other VR game is Moss. That game looked really nice. I liked how it was like this like roaming where you play as like a- what was that? A mouse? It looks like, I can't remember what that movie's called, um, I can't remember what it's called, but there was a movie, a really short movie, I think it was like 30 minutes, but it was like a really good movie, and it reminds me of that, it's like, kind of like, just, just about a mouse who tries to save, like, a castle or whatever. I really like that movie, actually, but the game looks nice, and the fact that you can play it in VR is amazing. God of War! It looks really great, it looks like a lot of fun at times, it's not my cup of tea most of the time, though. But still, I really like how it looks. That's the big thing. This thing looks amazing. Detroit Become Human. That game blew me away. I really liked it. I, I know that uh, the company that makes that usually has a really good trailer and doesn't live up to the expectations by far. But I still really want to play this game. It just looks awesome. Destiny Version 2. It's Destiny. I've never played the first one. My friend is addicted to Destiny 1. 
I don't think that the PS4 is the best place to play Destiny 2, though. I think that'd have to go to the PC just because free online and all that, and tons of other features that you can get. And one last thing I want to mention before I go on to the last game is that they had a lot of weird camera shots in the audience. It was like, they kept taking pictures of the most, like, the most unexcited people. They were just like, oh yeah, I'm so excited, oh yeah, yeah, I'm so glad to be here. Like, they actually took shots of those people, and they that was really all they took shots of. And the last game is Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. And it, it just looks like a generic Spider-Man game. Nothing really special there. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And before I leave, I have one, two things to say, actually. Out of ten, I would give this entire thing... Um, I'd give it maybe a 5.5 out of ten. The reason I give it quite a low score is because I, first of all, I don't own a PlayStation 4, so I can't really be excited for any of this. And two, it's not really, n none of the stuff they revealed was too exciting. Some of the stuff was interesting, but not everything. So that's why it's got kind of a low mark, on, in my opinion. You guys may have a different opinion, and that is totally fine with me. And the last announcement is that tomorrow I will be doing the Nintendo event a little bit late, so if you want to subscribe, if you want, you can. Alright guys, see you.